thumbnail. Ah, uh, there's no Jelsons on there. Hold on, let me try it. Kiss. Okay. Okay, Okay, so fun. What's up guys? Welcome to our grocery haul. Are you gonna do this? Yeah, I'm gonna do the little yay <laughs> sound. Okay, so we went to what is it? Where so, can we go? After hiking. After hiking, listen guys. Is it Gelson's or Gelson's? <laughs> Leave I think it it's in Gelson's. I think it's Gelson's too. But oh, why? I don't know. It's G A E L, so I feel like it's gel. Like gel, but... like hair gel. Yeah. So G E L. The reason why we we went to gel Gelson. Gelson. <laughs> Gelson is because we have this offer on our American Express card. So if you are Amex Gold card or anything, I guess like Amex card, they will have like a monthly offer. So check those out. So we had this offer. If we pay, if you spend more than fifty dollar, you get ten bucks off. Ten bucks off. So Up I think that's times. a really good deal. So that's why we went there. Uh, it's our first time at Jelson's. First so time. First time. We were very impressed with a lot of selection. They definitely had a lot of bread selection. Yeah. And what else? And beer. Oh, uh, Gelson. Whatever. Yeah. We're looking at like the beer section. I think it has more selection than the Whole Foods. So, whenever you go into a new market, the first thing that for me is, do I know where to go? Which aisles have what? I was very pleasantly surprised with Gelson's because mm -hmm. they had everything so organized. It wasn't all over the place. You knew where everything was. Um, we knew where the, the chips were. <laughs> That's the important. most important thing for him, for chips. Uh, yeah, everything was super organized. There wasn't much people, so we enjoy our shopping there. Uh, so we're just going to show you guys what we got because we got a lot, actually. Yeah. So it's not anything in order, so it's going to be kind of everywhere. Yeah. So let's dig into it. Shall we just start with the first? So, like we're talking about snacks and chips. I love snacks and chips. My guilty pleasure. Um, first off, we got popcorners. Kettle corn flavored. Um, good alternative to chips. Yeah, What's for that one, I tried for the first time on the airplane. And I fell in love with it. It's just so good. It's lightweight. It's definitely addicting, so be careful. Nice. Uh, so, the next guy is... Next up, so when we go to different markets, I think it's uh, one thing that we like to look for is uh, their own products, their own produce. So this is fresh baked by sourdough bread. Yeah, we love the sourdough. And butter lettuce is really good. Um, it's definitely, there's a reason why it calls butter lettuce because it's like so much better than regular lettuce yeah for sure and it's also like it's fresh because you can see the roots yeah it's living yeah, so it's you can living. plant it if you want to i guess you can but these are kind of ready to eat so yeah okay so the next item that we got so a staple in our household are avocados yeah avocado we make we put it in the sandwich we make guacamole. kevin makes a really good guacamole so he likes to put it in over there and... and then just your so you know what guys the one thing that i want to say about these oranges i didn't know there are so many oranges and tangerines and mandarins i think we saw <laughs> like five six different oranges but this is called a mandarosa what a mandarosa really? let's focus please Sorry, focus on me. There it is, Mandarosa. Um, yeah, so, so it's kind of like in between the oranges and mandarins. So we just kind of bought two of them because yeah. we weren't sure how the taste was gonna be like. Next up, um, just your organic red onions, another staple in our household. We use this for guacamole. We use this for cooking. Anything. A lot. Yeah, we just use it a lot. 
He puts in he puts red onion in all the food. Yeah. Pretty much. And then just your plain old white mushrooms. Yeah. Next and bag. Next bag. Oh, this is a fun one. This I is a fun one. I just have to grab this one because it looks so healthy. So we got some micro arugula uh, for our salads. What's next? And two types of cheese. Two types of cheese. So I love cheese, but I'm not supposed to have cheese because I'm lactose. But guess what? <laughs> I'm still gonna eat it. Um, we got Gouda slices, and we got the Gelson's again. The Gelson's brand for cheese blend. Yeah, we're gonna try that. Uh, for some quesadillas. Yeah, got it. Here, and and you can't have sandwich without ham. Are you a turkey person or are you a ham person? Because we're definitely ham people. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely. Yeah. And, okay guys, so this brand of tortillas, I want to mention, I first had this way back a couple years ago, but these are just so much better in terms of um, macronutrients. Yeah. Um, the calories for a tortilla, you'd be surprised for like a regular flour tortilla, is like almost 200 to like, I don't know, 250, depending on the size. But this, look at this guys, 80 calories matter? per serving. 80 calories per serving and... Four grams of protein, 17 grams of carbs. This is pretty good if you're, That's you know, really awesome. if you love tortillas like us, this is a really great brand to go for. And it's also very like, I love the texture of it. It's like chewy. Yeah, because yeah. this is a, a flour tortilla. Mm -hmm. And then we got four different kinds of chobani. So here's the thing. We love chobani. Like every single time we go to a different store, I like to try a lot of different chobanis, but our absolute favorite is definitely the Flip family. <laughs> flips. Yeah, we just love flips. Um, these are just kind of like the s'mores one is the one that we it's go to for us, but we like the other ones too, like cheesecake and key like lime the pie. Peanut butter. Yeah. Yep. All right. What's and next? We got these two kinds as well. So these aren't flips. These are just your regular chobani. But Let me just try this, one. this, check this out, guys. For all you coffee lovers, look at this coffee and cream. Sounds really appetizing. And then you have your honey and Greek yogurt. This looks pretty awesome. I've never seen this one before. Honestly, I never saw these two before. Yeah, Should these are our first it? for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, it smells. it smells so good. We're trying the great yogurt coffee cream one. Okay. I'm going to have you the, the honor to try these. So, it's not good. Don't 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 <laughs> buy it. It's really not good. <laughs> Whoa, how was it? Oh, it's really good. It almost tastes like a coffee cheesecake because oh of the Greek gosh. yogurt. Oh my gosh. Really good, guys. Oh my god. It really tastes like coffee cheesecake. Yeah. Kevin's like literally looking at it. Mm. So this one is 160 calories, protein 11 gram, grams, mm -hmm. um, added sugar 17. Oh, the sugars. So the sugar is a little bit higher. Honestly, this is not high compared to other ones. Mm. Other ones have like more than 25. Mm. That's why we like this Chobani brand. It's really good. You try this one too? Yeah. So one, like I said, I'm lactose, maybe TMI, maybe not, who cares? But I like having Greek yogurt instead of ice cream. The next one we're gonna try is this Chobani honey and cream. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it can't be, it can't go wrong. Yeah. Okay. Smell test. No. Okay, it doesn't sound too promising. No, I feel like it's just very simple compared to the coffee one. Hey, really good. Really mm. good. It's just really plain. A little bit of taste of honey. I like this one too. Hmm. I feel like this one will really go with like granolas. Oh yeah. Really good. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Hmm. Plain, simple. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right, what's next? Okay, so I'll talk about this yeah. one because... 
because Kevin really doesn't put any creamer in his coffee. But I like to put creamer in my cold drink. So sometimes, even though it's freezing still in the morning, I like to put creamer. No, sometimes it's really freezing in the morning. Oh, sorry. Even though it's really freezing in the morning, I like to drink cold drinks. Yeah. Yeah, that's something that Kevin doesn't really understand. Yeah. You're looking at the camera, right? I'm always a hot coffee person. <laughs> yeah, he's always a hot coffee person. But sometimes when I just need to wake up, I need some energizing thing that I uh, I just need. need. Um, I always go for the cold drinks. But I for, for the cold drink, I definitely need some type of creamer. But this is almond milk and coconut cream. So I'm excited to try this one. Uh, it's the keto creamer. I've tried a lot of different creamer. So I'm excited to try this. So I'll keep you guys updated on this. This is this one is unsweetened mm -hmm. vanilla. So this Califia brand too, guys. I think they have pretty good cold brew if I remember cold correctly. Oh yeah, in the bottle, like a huge bottle. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna introduce this next one. Lego my ego. So Recently, Hannah bought us um, Whole Foods branded waffles. The waffles, buttermilk waffles. Buttermilk waffles. Those are really, really good. I'm very plain. I have a very plain palate when it comes to food, um, but no one can deny chocolate chip waffles. Mm -hmm. Look at these guys. Cute. I think this is such a good, just like easy breakfast. <clears throat> yeah. If you're like. Go. If you're like me, I don't eat breakfast. I eat breakfast um, when Hannah makes me breakfast. Yeah, I, th I feel like you start eating breakfast yeah. because of me. Because I, I feel bad just making breakfast for myself. Yeah, she makes fantastic breakfast, guys. But sometimes when you're on the go in a rush, you got to go for the egos. Nice. Now, so um, this next one, last but not certainly not the least, we picked up some New York strip. So um, for lunch, what are we eating? So today I'm going to try some steak and frites. I've been seeing a lot of crunchy French fry YouTube videos. So I'm going to try to mix and mesh all those recipes together and possibly create some crunchy French fries today along with are New York strip. Look at this marbling. This is a thin cut, so it's not super thick. Um, so, so it's like perfect for just like on a fry pan if you don't have like grill. Grill or cast iron. We don't have a cast iron, but um, we'll see how this turns out. Yeah. Um, I failed a lot of thicker cut steaks, but this is thin cut, so I'm cheating a little today. And Kevin, <laughs> Kevin gets so mad when he messes up the steak. Yeah. So hopefully this one. I, I, I think this would be easy to cook. Yeah. So we'll be... That was the whole Jelson, Gelson haul. Yes, it so, was. So uh, we're gonna go into cooking and I'll show you guys what we eat. Bye. All right, guys. So like I said, I'm gonna start the steak and frites cooking show. So you can see I have some potatoes. Um, I'm gonna peel them and use this crinkle cutter that I got off of Amazon. This is probably the best thing that I used to cut potatoes into french fries. Next up, I'm just gonna show you guys kind of the, I guess the width and the length of the fries that I wanted to cut into. These aren't the biggest potatoes, but we'll make do. So we got this crinkle cutter. I'm gonna go lengthwise, make a cut, and then you can see these ridges that these this little cutter creates. It's like the best thing in the world. But be careful because this is still sharp if you do have one of these. The thickness of the potatoes, I'm gonna go about this size. And then cut them into thirds. And boom, we have crinkle cut french fries. So 
So I'm gonna talk really quickly about why I, I'll boil my potatoes before I put them in an air fryer or if you're gonna fry them on the frying pan. It's so that the potatoes on the inside will become tender and uh, when you fry them, it'll, it'll allow for the, uh, the potatoes to be crispy on the outside. It's kind of like a sous vide method, um, but not really. But this is how I like to make french fries and it's worked in the past. Add a little bit of parsley to the sauce. Salt and pepper. A little bit of basil. I just start putting in a bunch of herbs that I feel like would taste good with this. So that's just kind of how I learned to cook at the same time too. Some finishing touches would be um, adding some fresh lime. So this is what the sauce looks like. Instead of a it's kind of looking more like an aioli, but we'll see what it tastes like at the end. Um, but I'm gonna work on the potatoes next, and let me show you guys what it actually looks like. So I boiled it for about six minutes. It's kind of translucent, pretty tender right now. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna kind of tr um, douse them in olive oil, um, whip them around a little bit, and then throw them in the air fryer for give or take anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes and see how they turn out. You wanna have it be room temp a little bit. So I have these two New York cuts. Like I said, they're thin and I'm gonna show you how thin they actually are. So if you look at it, boom, there it is. So these guys have been sitting outside for maybe, I don't know, about 20 minutes. And what I'm going to do is just Really simple, um, salt and pepper, a bit of olive oil. One trick that I did learn um, seasoning steaks in the past is you do want to season your board as well um, so that your meat doesn't lose out on any of those flavors. So, okay, these have been in for about six minutes. I'm gonna flip them halfway. Um, I don't know. It's my first time trying this method, but really? hopefully, yeah with the thickness of these potatoes. Hopefully they turn out okay. Thank you. 